Hey everyone, it's me, EOD Gamer here, and today we're back with another testing video and we have the Light of Folia Incision for Kea this time. And we are actually running Kea in a double cryo melt team with Bennett and Xiangling. It's actually one of the free-to-play meta teams with all four star characters. I'm going to do a showcase later on swapping Rosaria out for Shenhe to make a more interesting big PP number to get up this sword. So you guys can stay tuned for that on the channel. But anyway, for this video, I'm going to be running Rosara with a level 1 Favonius lens. And it's because I just want to make the numbers easier to see when we are comparing the weapons. So it's much more clearer for you guys as well when he's going to be doing cryo damage. And the last thing I have for you guys is my banner is actually C6. So I can't really normal attack with Kea. I'm going to try. I'm definitely going to be trying to normal attack with him as much as I can. But the normal attacks will be pyro damage. So that is something that uh, you guys with the limitations of this video. So if you're okay with that disclaimer, I'm going to be testing both the Light of Foliar Incision, Mist Splitter, as well as the Black Cliff Long Sword. And you know we don't waste time on this channel. So let's go ahead and jump right in and see some big PP numbers. So as you can see, even if I attack buffer like Bennett in the team, it's still not able to bridge the gap between the Light of Folia incision base attack versus the very high Miss Splitter Reforge base attack for an attack scaling character like Kea. It's roughly about 10% stronger still, even with uh, Bennett in the team to buff the attack. And without Bennett in a freeze team, which we have done in an Ayaka showcase video already, a comparison between them for a freeze comp, the difference likely is larger. But overall, the Light of Folia incision is actually more than 20% better than a Black Cliff Longsword based on the numbers that we have seen in this video as well. Now, I do think it's a really good weapon, especially since it can be played both for EM, HP, and defense scaling characters, which we have actually done real quite a bit of comparison across the board on most characters in the game with this new weapon. It shows how versatile it is and can be just adjusted into most characters in the game Genshin right now, and it's also future proof because it can also be used for more characters thereafter. And next, I'm going to be adding Shenhe into the team to do some filming together with Kea to see how big his numbers can go. I'm pretty sure I can bump his numbers up more with the crit artifacts that I have, but I'll save that for another video. And thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video.